this is Lee from ColouringQueen.net and I have a really different book today. It's called Fairy Shampoo and it is completely different from any fairy book that uh, we traditionally look at. This one, um, as the name would imply, shampoo, you sort of think of hair. So it's really all about fairies with uh, lots and lots of hair. and. You know, I don't know that I'd call some of these drawings fairies. Uh, on first glance, they really don't look like a fairy. But they are super cute and it is a really quirky little fun book. So let's have a dive inside. Now the book is approximately 10 inches by 10 inches or 25 centimetres by 25 centimetres. And it has this lovely vibrant cover really makes me feel happy just looking at it, it's beautiful. Opening it up, very plain title page and you know I have been spoiled by uh, other pages with beautiful nameplate pages on them so I'm kind of always looking for that nowadays. On the front cover we have the title page which is a replica of the front cover and as you'll see, the book is divided into four chapters of uh, freedoms and dreams and friendships and love. Now, we've got a small introduction here, and then we go on to our first chapter. The images on the whole are printed on both sides of the paper. And as you will see, the line work is very crisp and clear and is medium to thick line weight which is great for people like me whose eyesight is not what it was 10 years ago. So it's easy to see the lines and although these drawings are very detailed it's very easy to make out the spaces between them if you do have visual issues. The paper is white and it's a medium weight quality. It's a very good quality paper. I would test it at the front with any wet mediums before you dove in to the main part of the book. But as you can see, it's all about the hair. We have hair as leaves, as flowers, as palms and whatnot. And these fairies seem to have a shortage of wings, or if they do, I can't seem to find them. So I wonder if something has been lost in translation, and they just mean beautiful sort of ladies with hair. But either way, it is lovely. It's not our traditional fairy book. And it's something sort of quirky and different. You'll notice that also the fairies in the book don't have any facial expressions. So they're missing lips or noses and whatnot. So it's all about the imagery surrounding them rather than the actual beauty of the person. I'll just uh, flip through the rest of the book and let you enjoy Fairy Shampoo.
And at the back we have a little fairy index of all the illustrations within the book and just a card cover on the back there. So there we have it, Fairy Shampoo, a truly different fairy book. I don't really class it as a fairy book, but it is a lovely colouring in book and it's very suitable for those with visual impairment that love all the colours that you can use but can't often see the lines like me. So until next time, happy colouring.